Friends, in any industry, the motor starts and stops when we click the computer. When you click on start, the motor is on, meaning it starts. And when you click on stop, the motor is off, meaning it stops. But how does this happen? In today's video, we are going to discuss here. The video is going to be very helpful for you. Do not skip the video at all. Look friends, start and stop signals are command signals from PLC. Friends, to control any motor from PLC, VFD is used. The full form of VFD is variable frequency drive. We also call VFD as variable speed drive. With VFD, the motor can be run at variable speed. Meaning it can be run at different speeds. This is a big advantage of VFD. Apart from this, by using VFD, the power consumption is also greatly reduced. This was about VFD. Let's move on. The computer system through which any industry is controlled is called SCADA. The full form of SCADA is Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. SCADA is the overview of any industry. All processes are controlled through SCADA only. Motor is also controlled through SCADA to operate the motor. The motor icon is clicked. After that, click on Start. After clicking on Start, these command signals are sent to the digital output of PLC, means DO module. This is done because motor start is a digital output signal. Whatever the type of signal is sent to the same module. In DO modules, lights are used for signals. As soon as the signal reaches to the DO module, the light of that signal will also glow. After the DO module, the wire signal reaches to the relay. As soon as the signal is received, the relay gets excited and turns on. When the relay is on, there is an LED of the relay. It glows. The output of the relay is sent to DOTB of the PLC panel. The output of relay is two wire output, and this signal is usually 220 volts AC signal. From the VFD side, a control supply signal is also sent to the same DOTB. One side is relay output at DOTB, and on the other side, there are two wires to start the motor. Control supply comes in one wire from VFD on the motor side. The motor starts due to this control supply. When the motor starts it means it will turn on. So, the color of the motor will also change on SCADA. Usually, red color is used when the motor is off or stopped. And, when the motor turns on, to show it, it turns green. Meaning, when the motor starts, its color becomes green. Friends, one thing to be kept in mind here is that, without control supply, the motor will not start. So, motor start procedure is completed. Now, let us understand how to stop the motor. So whenever the motor has to be stopped, command is given from SCADA. For that, the motor icon is clicked. When we click on the motor icon, a small window opens. Usually we get four options in it. Start, Stop, Local, Remote, and PLC, DCS. By clicking on start, the motor starts. By clicking on stop, the motor stops. Local, remote means, the motor will operate in local remote mode. PLC DCS means, the motor will operate from PLC DCS. If you want to operate a motor from PLC, then, it is necessary to keep it in PLC DCS mode. Now, suppose, we want to stop the motor. 
To stop the motor, the stop icon will be clicked. By clicking on stop, command signal will go to DO module and relay. The signal which was on in DO module will turn off. And that signal will be turned off in the relay also. This will change the excitation of the relay and the relay will go off. Also, the LED which was glowing in the relay will turn off. Now, the output of the relay will also be off. And finally, the motor will stop. And when the motor turns off or stops, so its color will also change on SCADA. The color of the motor will change from green to red. From here, it can be understood that the signal wires are connected in such a manner. When the motor is started, all the signals become on and when the motor is stopped all the signals go off so friends this was our today's video thanks for watching